In the previous video, we uh, set the stage for a proof of this statement, P of n. And now I'm going to prove the statement. Okay, so I'll write proof to indicate to the reader that this is where I'm starting the proof. So first we need to prove the base case, proving this by induction. The proof of the base case, um, we need to prove P of 1. P of 1 is 3 times 1 minus 2 is equal to 1 times 3 times 1 minus 1 all over 2. Okay, so we'll do that here. 3 times 1 minus 2, okay, that's equal to 1. And with a little math, you can see that that's equal to 1 times 3 times 1 minus 1 over 2. Okay, so that's the base case. Remember, the base case is essential because we need some place to start. To start. Okay, so now for the inductive step. We're going to assume P of K, which is that 1 plus 4 plus 7 plus 3K minus 2 uh, is equal to K, 3K minus 1 over 2. And now we're going to show P of K plus 1. P of K plus 1, the left-hand side of P of K plus 1, um, let me just write P of K plus 1 here. I'll erase it in a moment for room, but this is 1 plus 4 plus 7 plus 3K minus 2 plus 3K plus 1 minus 2. This whole thing is equal to K plus 1, 3 times K plus 1 minus 1, whole thing over 2. Okay, so we're going to start with the left-hand side of this, and we'll say 1 plus 4 plus 7 plus 3K minus 2 plus 3K plus 1 minus 2. Okay, so that's the left-hand side of P of K plus 1 down here. That's, that's this part I've written here. And now through a string of equalities, I'm going to show it's equal to the right-hand side, which is that. Okay. Okay. So let's see. Well, we can now use our assumption, right? So notice that uh, this right here is exactly that right there. And we're assuming that this is equal to that, right? So then we can put that in there. Okay. This is equal to k, 3k minus 1 over 2, plus 3 k plus 1 minus 2. And remember where we're trying to get to. We're trying to get to this right-hand side of P of um, k plus 1, which is that thing right there. Okay, 3k plus 1 minus 2, let's see, 3, distributing that through, that'd be 3k plus 3 minus 2, that's 3k um, plus 1. Okay, so we can rewrite this as k, 3k minus 1 over 2 plus 3k plus 1. All right, so now we're just, it's a bunch of algebra. The, induct, the actual induction was in this step right here. That's where we use the fact that that was equal to that. Okay, now just a bunch of algebra. Um, we want to get the same common denominator and put things together. Okay, so we have k, 3k minus 1 over 2 plus a common denominator would be one would be uh, 2, right? So you'd have 2 times 3k plus 1 
all over two. And now putting all this together, the same denominator, we'd have k, 3k minus one, all over two, plus, oops, sorry, same denominator, right? Um, plus two times 3k plus one, all over two, All right, now distributing um, this stuff through, let's see, we've got uh, distributing this k through to each of those and the two through to each of those. Let's see, we get uh, 3k squared. Oh, yes, 3k squared minus k plus 6k plus 2 all over 2. And then simplifying further, let's see. Um, now, this the 6k and the minus k we could put together to make a 5k, right? So let me just put that into this step here. So that's a 5k plus 5k. Let's see, right? That's negative k and 6k, uh, negative k plus 6k is a 5k. Okay. Now um, we'll factor things. Okay, so we'll factor uh, factor the top, leave the denominator the way it is. Two there. Let's see, three k and k, two and one. Let's see, um, mm -hmm. A two and a one, right, is all we really have to work with with a two there. Mm -hmm. We're trying to get to a 5K. Mm, let's see, if we had the two and the one there, would that work? Let's see, that'd be three and two. Yes, okay, so that'll work. So plus and plus, let's see, that would give you 3K squared. Um, then you'd have 2k and 3k is 5k and then a 2. Okay, so that works. All right, now notice that this right here can be rewritten as k plus 1. And then this is 3 times k plus 1 minus 1 all over 2. And that's what we try, we're wanting to show. That's where we wanted to get to. We have, um, let's see. Remember that the right-hand side of p of k plus 1 which is, was exactly this, right? It's like putting a k plus 1 in right there and a k plus 1 right there, right? So that's k plus 1, 3 times k plus 1, minus 1. And notice that 3 times k plus 1 minus 1 is, in fact, that value right there. That's 3k plus 3 minus 1. Plus 3 minus 1 is a plus 2. All right, and so this is the inductive step and we're done. We proved it by induction. Now, uh, because uh, I don't have a lot of room here, uh, let me just skip a, some of these steps here. Um, here I've shown you all the steps, and this is what you'll have to do with the drag and drop exercises. They'll have all possible algebra steps in there. Uh, let me just, for the sake of completeness, Um, let me rewrite this right here. Uh, 3k squared plus 5k plus 2 all over 2. And then um, I can say, okay, this is 3k plus 2 k plus 1 all over 2, that's equal to plus 1, minus 1, all over 2. Go like so, just like this, and now we can put all this down here like this, and I can move this over like that. And so what I just want you to see right here 
is this complete induction proof, right? We have the base case, check. We have our inductive assumption, that's this thing, check. And then we prove P of K plus one. That's all of this, all of this here. Notice that proving P of K plus one is the, is, is the, uh, is the issue.